Hello, Internet, and welcome to Behind the Meme. Today we have a look at the Emoji Movie. The day has finally arrived. The apocalypse. The day of reckoning. The end of the world. We all knew this day was coming, but we kept brushing off the news stories just hoping they were exaggerated and not true. Well, I'm sorry to say, they were true. They were very true. We could have stopped it from happening, but we didn't. We just buried our heads in the sand hoping the problems would stop, but they didn't. And now, they're here. Goodbye, cruel world. Wait, you thought I was talking about North Korea developing intercontinental ballistic missiles and destroying America with them? You silly fool. That is child's play compared to the abomination that is the Emoji Movie. Now listen, before you go judging me for being a grown man watching an animated movie about emojis, just know that it wasn't my choice to see this damn thing. I went with a girl and I may or may not have been trying to get laid, so honestly I would have agreed to watch almost anything. So I decided to give this movie the benefit of the doubt going into it. In my head, maybe it had a chance to be the next Toy Story or Shrek. And if not a badass movie like that, then at least Ants or Shrek 4. But dear lord, was I wrong. Now I can't even begin to tell you just exactly what it was about this movie that sucked so bad. I think it might be the small fact that it's a movie about emojis. The annoying things that have seemed to become a part of our culture and make me feel like a 12 year old girl every time I use them. Which seems to be every other text. Shh, don't tell anybody. It is also very obviously a cash grab by Sony Pictures with no substance. In my opinion, it tried too hard to be funny and failed at doing so. Kinda like somebody we all know. Then again, I wouldn't say that I was the primary demographic that the movie was intended for. Like I said, I may or may not have been trying to get laid. So maybe you will like the film. I can't really call it a film. Maybe you will like the movie. I really don't feel comfortable calling it a movie either. Maybe you will like the sequence of images and audio that I didn't. There, that's better. You all know that old saying, opinions are like assholes. We all have one with hemorrhoids that hurt when we sit down or something like that. But the thing with this movie is that most people seem to have the same opinion. I mean, the damn thing is currently sitting with a rotten rating on Rotten Tomatoes, just barely escaping the 0% rating, which is pretty damn bad. And some of these reviews seem to sum up the movie a bit better than I can. Like this one right here that describes the movie as a demonstration of artistic abdication at its most venal. But will the kids like it? I don't know what abdication means, and I don't know what venal means, and I don't know exactly what kids are, but it sounds like this person didn't like the movie either. And damn, even one of the few positive reviews that the movie has was still negative. The Emoji Movie squanders the talents of its capable voice cast on an animated film that is as cynical in its outlook as it was in its conception. Which brings me to the next point. The movie actually had some talented individuals that were voicing the emojis. Which really makes you wonder what some of their agents were doing when they even gave them the option to be in this thing after hearing the concept and reading the script. Sir Patrick Stewart, I think you might need to find some new representation. Naturally, the movie has become the perfect example for some memes based around the horrible cringe that it is. So if you still want to see the Emoji Movie after all this, that's fine. You have that right. But I have a couple suggestions on what you can do with your money and time instead. You could give it to a homeless man. You could go buy a book on socks and read it. You could go spend time with your grandparents that are dying and hear their boring stories about how they survived concentration camps and dumb stuff like that. You could even take the $10 and light it on fire and it would be more entertaining and a better investment than watching this movie. So there you have it. What started off as a bad idea 
eventually turned into a bad idea. But hey, that's the internet for you, and on the internet, memes are king. Thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch my next video and stay up to date on all your favorite memes and trends. Who knows, you may learn about something you never knew about before. I'll catch you beautiful people next time.